Hey, what's up traders? This is the watch list video for Monday, February 7th. And starting off the daily of the SPY, we did um, kind of had a flat open and closed, you know, slightly above the open. It was a, it was a green day. Um, I didn't trade much again. I'm not finding a lot of opportunities. Uh, pullback play and snap once for me, uh, DWAC an early trade for me, but not a lot of trades. And I'm, I'm going by memory. I didn't write anything down from Friday and now it's uh, Sunday. So anyway, um, what am I watching to possibly trade on Monday? Snap, S-N-A-P, 308 million shares traded in. You know, like I said in the video on uh, Thursday night, I believe, talking about shorts, we're trapped here, right? There's an ugly daily into earnings and then a nice earnings report. Uh, this was a nice little mini short squeeze, or maybe just you call it a short squeeze, a uh, big volume. I'm looking for a possible continuation of that on Monday. We'll see if we get an A-plus intraday setup. Keep in mind, I'm always in cash every night and I make my money between the bells, as I like to say. Um, you, the letter U, which is Unity Software, a nice volume day and up to recent resistance, but we'll see if it gives a follow through setup. Speaking of DWAC, I still like the look of this chart. You have this lower high back here. I think that uh, Truth Social is supposed to actually go live this month. So you might get headlines about that on, on any given day. And that could give us a nice little mini squeeze just on that headline. With this chart, with excuse me, which, with this chart, which is very coiled. So um, a few weeks ago, it hit basically 91.50. Then on Thursday, it hit 86.85. On Friday, slightly below that at 86.32. So you do have a very coiled pattern. I think there's probably a lot of shorts in the name too. So certainly worth keeping a close eye on. AFRM, I'm not in love with, but it had a nice bounce. Then looked like it was rolling over. And it's curling back up again, so I'm going to keep an eye on it. But it's below the 20 day, and you could argue it kind of been follow. It's kind of been following the spy, um, so certainly not in love with it. Um, I O N Q looks a little bit similar, but a little bit stronger and nice volume on Friday. So we'll see it that. Way. And that's a former uh, former runner from back here, which wasn't that long ago, a couple months. Um, B R O S had this nice two day run, and now it's kind of coiling. So I want to keep our eyes on that. A N Y, which is Bitcoin related, had news on Friday. And, uh, you know, big volume day, but closing well off its highs. The highs 341 before it closed at 303. But you might get a follow through day, especially if Bitcoin is strong um, on Monday. So we'll keep an eye on that. Type that wrong. B I L L, nice breakout. Uh, looking for a follow through day there. K-A-V-L, I got to zoom in to show you this one. Got penny stock, but um, had the big rip on Thursday and then kind of a quiet inside day on Friday. So I'm looking for a third day play. You'll notice on five minute candles, it put in its high early on Friday and never came close to breaking its early high. So to me, it's still possibly setting up for a move. Um, I-N-D-O, um, a lot of bag holders because it closed here and there was a lot of activity up above this price, but Pretty good range on Monday, uh, on Monday, sorry, on Friday um, from 403 to 579 before closing way off its highs. If oil is strong, that one caught some attention again on uh, on Friday. So we're going to keep our eyes on that one for a possible setup. CFVI, which sort of sort of moves with DWAC. Uh, this is related to Rumble, the YouTube competitor. Um, and kind of had that pop on Thursday and pretty strong day on Friday. So you got a possible break of the two day high there. Um, BFRI, former high flyer, but it's showing some strength lately. Had this nice volume pop here, kind of flagged and it's curling back up. That one can move at times, kind of a tricky trader, so be careful with it. And lastly, KSCP goes right back on bounce watch. It's been on bounce watch for a few days um, and it goes right back on bounce watch for Monday. I'm done babbling. I'll see everybody in the chat room on Monday morning.